Hi all, welcome to my Team of the Week 21 predictions video, plenty to cover as always, lots of nice looking cars from the thumbnail, but obviously um, general team looks not too bad, even the Silver Stars has even a future star that could feature, which was actually quite lucky, but um, if you can smash like so, it would be much appreciated, though. sub to the channel if you're new, follow me on Twitter at G is a legend, all links are down below for posting the channel and social media links as always, got plenty to cover up with the main team, lots of top possibles and Silver Stars, and we'll take it from there. So starting off with the team we have uh, Martinez, 9 saves and a clean sheet for Aston Villa against Brighton. Should be pretty academic for a second in form, 84 rated. Um, Ederson is the alternative Premier League shout with one assist funnily enough but um, he only made three saves so that may go against him a little bit but the, um, if he, he even tried to push for the penalty, if he'd got the penalty and scored he was a given, like he would be a given, it would have been actually an insane, it would have been a fun card to see. So Ederson um, unfortunately may be missing out. Uh, defenders, uh, Sebastian Cortez two goals in the midweek game, it does count, um, people will be like oh it doesn't count, it doesn't count, you'll see, that you'll see it quite a lot in the comments of not just my predictions but others as well, he deserves it anyway because it was two late goals, um, bringing, keeping sporting, um, leading the Portuguese um, title race at the moment. Uh, Fernando Mendy, another one, this was midweek um, against Katafi. He got one goal on a clean sheet and was very uh, much a standout player. Uh, position changed in the game to centre back, so Mendy could very much happen in this game and could be a very, very insane card. Imagine that hyperlink Varane and Mendy back to back weeks for informs, that is kind of crazy. And it sells packs, obviously. And Loughton, one goal on a clean sheet. Um, very impressive goal against Crystal Palace. If you've not seen it, worth checking it out. So he definitely deserves a spot in. Midfield, start off with Lorente. Lorente one goal, one assist, and a tour marker. Should be pretty academic. Uh, Correa is the alternative, but Lorente is the one for me. Position change to a right mid, which is a bit annoying. But you just have to take for what you get. Um, Draxler, one goal. I haven't got the... Um, La Keep rating at all. Um, some of the Parisian fan accounts have gave quite a poor rating. Some have gave a very impressive rating. So maybe La Keep maybe in the morning will kind of validate what we got. If he's got a good rating, he should get in. But until I've one hundred percent seen it, then it's hard to kind of justify. But league on options this week are a bit light, so that's why I think he will feature. Um, despite obviously the road to the final card. Uh, Rodri, he scored the penalty but he got an 8 on Sky so Man City will get an inform from the Spurs game, it just goes to him. Gundogan, well, I don't see him happening despite his continual um, impressive form. Um, obviously yes he has a player the month card but I was kind of thinking he might have happened last week as an inform and I don't see him happening this week. He can still get an inform, um, EA will just probably not make it happen just because of the player of the month. Um, forwards this week we have a Bamiyang for a hat trick should be pretty academic. Um, maybe dynamic with the match ball and what we did there should be quite neat. Watson Edward two goals for Celtic, um, big victory for them this afternoon coming from behind two goals in three minutes. And a second form version of him would be a very nice card actually. It'd be quite a fun super sub um, for objectives. Uh, Lukaku late performance tonight, two goals, one assist. Lazio, 300th career goal should get him into the team of the week. Uh, team of the week 15 was when he was last in anyway, so more than enough time to fit in, and it was a top of the table clash, so helps that. And Lionel Messi, two goals, one assist, and a free on marker. Trincao is the alternative with two goals and a free as well on marker, but Messi ran the show, um, so it's very hard to ignore. Subs in reserve, Mary, uh, 6 saves, a clean sheet and a 7.5 in Gazetta as Napoli beat Venice 1 0, should be pretty academic. Um, as mainly Saar, 2 goals to assist for Watford as they beat Bristol City 6 0, should be pretty academic there. For 2, 2 goals, I haven't got the Gazetta rating yet, they've n uh, not quite published it um, as I've tried to do this, which is a bit of annoying, um, so it wouldn't surprise me if it's maybe just after 10 o'clock that um, that gets announced. Um, usually about then anyway, it's usually by 9 but it's, as I said we're pushing 10 o'clock and we've not got it. Um, Harvey Barnes, one goal man the match through like BT Sky and all that, um, he was like an 8, should be more than enough. 
Uh, Buffett team by Gomez, four goals for him, for Al Halal in the midweek, should see his spot. Santimina, two goals and a free on marker for Celtic Vigo as they continue their impressive form of late. And Mina, Mina himself has been impressive. Uh, Charlie White continuing his um, impressive form with four goals. McGeady got four assists in the same game, so Charlie White should get into the team at the week. He was fairly recent, but should still be more of a, a suitable gap. Geokamakis is kind of evidence of that. And reserves, we have Mobig Carlson for a hat trick, Nia Kate for a hat trick, Estevez is the odd shout of the week, one assist and a 7.5 on Gazetta. Spezia beat Milan, it's like bottom of the table versus top of the table, they played insane with the lack of Spezia players in the game. Estevez is actually the only one that actually could happen if they were to do it. Like he got an assist. Um, Agadulo was the best player with an 8, but he's not in FIFA um, when I went looking, so it was an odd one. But regardless, someone from Spezia should get in. And obviously, Derbyshire, hat trick, and also same for Ormeno in the Mexican League. So A League will get themselves their third gold player. So, top possibles for this week. Um, Starting off with Nalito, two assists and a free marker for Celta. Jay Rodriguez, one goal, one assist, but that's how Loughton gets in over him. Munir, one goal. Orsic, one goal. Freisel, 12 saves and a 2-2 draw for Addo v PSV. Pat Sindaka, two goals. Um, Segrist, nine saves and a clean sheet. Ederson, three saves, a clean sheet and one assist. Tavrid in the Saudi League also got himself a hat-trick. Henderson got two goals and two assists for Salford. Um, John Joe Kenny, one assist and a clean sheet. Uh, Oliver Torres, one assist and a two on Marca. Trincao we mentioned for two assists and a three on Marca. Moffy, two goals. Benega for about the fifth week in a row misses out with one goal, one assist. Cruz was one goal, one assist. And Haller, one goal, one assist and a 7.5 on VI. Now the Super um, Silver Stars Objective Player of the Week um, start comes back this week. We have four shouts in the form of um, Aidan McGeady. Obviously he has a shout for four assists. I'm going to give him a mention regardless. Tom Brogic in the midweek performance for St Mirren with two goal, uh, sorry, one goal, two assists. He played CDM that game, so it's quite interesting. Um, Gilson Dalloff, uh, one goal, two assists. One of the goals was chalked off for offside, so he was unlucky there. And Evan Indica got himself one goal on a clean sheet. He is also under 23, so a future stars card could happen. So that could be, end up being a silver star instead of an inform. Um, he'd be the only one that could actually physically get given a silver uh, future star as a result but see what happens with team of the week 21 folks let me know in the comments down below who you think could get in uh, if there is anyone I've missed um, let me know but obviously don't see that until you've kind of listened through the predictions so smash like so sub to channel if you know and I'll catch you all later